Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my Tamed Wild for September. Are we still in September? September 2021. Oh my god, I'm sweating balls up in here. Whoo, it's hot. I guess I've been running around. And I got my COVID, like my second COVID shot yesterday. Oh my god, I feel like shit. I wasn't going to do these videos, but I was like, these boxes are piling up. <laughs> I've been so busy with a million projects that, anyways, I've got like five boxes. We'll see what we can do today because I got to work pretty soon. So anyways, hi, if you're uh, new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lisa and on my channel, I like to do witchy subscription unboxings, uh, one self-care subscription box and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews, right? So there is their website, how cute. They got moon phases and then they've got pretty vine things on the way on the box. This is only my second uh, box with Tamed Wild. I actually, I think I ordered like six months worth at a time because it's pretty cheap. I think it's like, I don't even know if it's $20 a month. So, whoa. First on top, we have this, it says um, Wild Medicine. And it looks like it's a book with like herbs and stuff. Cool. Very nice. See it? All right. Then they got some postcards in here that's gonna tell me um, what's in the box, so we don't want to see that. All right. Next up, I have a little sachet with their Tamed Wild thingamajigger on top. Oh, how pretty! We've got like a necklace charm. Let me get it out of this little bag so you guys can see. It's a crescent moon. Or you could probably turn it around and do like, I don't know if you would call that the dark moon or if that would be a full moon. I feel like that might be the dark moon. Anyways, how cute is that little thing? Very nice, y'all. Whew, I need like more air in this place. All right, and then we have some cone incense. We could probably light one. Let's Ooh, oh, it's probably not a backflow. I was say I have a backflow. Um, my little Buddha back there is a backflow incense guy. Let's see if I could do this without burning down the house. Speaking of houses, this past weekend, um, I have been apartment shopping. I've talked about this a lot um, with you guys. I love, 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 love my boyfriend. I want to live with him, but he's got responsibilities here. Um, he's been raising his uh, teenage son and, and then they live with my boyfriend's dad. Like this is my boyfriend's dad's house. And I really only have like our bedroom and then this room as my spaces. So I just, I feel the need to have my own space, but I'm trying to um, get an apartment like super close so we can bounce back and forth between the two. And my oldest son, if you guys do follow along with me, um, he lives in Oklahoma and I had driven out there a few weekends ago and gave him my car. Well, guess what? He feels that he needs to get closer to family, so my son is gonna move here, and he's like, Mama, can I live with you until I get on my feet? Yeah, duh. <laughs> All right, now we have our Maven Artisan Herbal Tea. Contains black tea, orange peel, cinnamon, and natural fruit flavoring. Did it say caffeine? Oh, black tea, so it's got caffeine in it. So that's that, and then there you can see some of the tea. I'm going to smell it. <laughs> I like to smell things. And then I like to uh, proceed to have allergies. Mm, I love black tea. I'll drink some of this later. Um, you know what? Let me read some of these things that we've already gone through. It'd be great if I wasn't sweating so bad. Okay. There's our little um, wild medicine booklet. It says, learn about 100 magical and medicinal. I feel like I need to move this. It's like wafting into my face. It'll probably still do it. Um, magic and medicinal plants 
in our wild medicine booklet. Within this book, we've included the historical uses of each herb, forgotten plant lore, and suggestions for incorporating flowers, spices, and flora of all kinds into ritual and spell work. For this ritual, we will create an, ancest an ancestral offering in the form of a tea blend and a simple snack or a favorite meal. Use this booklet as a guide when choosing ingredients for the recipe. To learn more about a specific herb, visit magic with a K, CK, and alchemy.com and click the tab labeled Herbal Alchemy. Awesome. And then we have our cone incense that's burning and it's wafting into our faces. It says, place the cone incense in a burn safe bowl and let it smolder as you craft your ancestral offering. You can use the incense to represent the element of air on your altar, a pentagram, or in your home. On your altar, a pentagram. Okay, anyways. Then we have our Maven tea. Our Maven tea is uplifting blend. Is it already Maven? What is today? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow's Maven, y'all. It's Maven, y'all, which I think they kind of say the 21st through the 23rd. Anyway. Our Maven tea is an uplifting blend of black tea, orange peel, and cinnamon chips. Brew two cups to close out today's ritual to show gratitude to Persephone for her service. Dedicate the first cup to her. Drink the second cup to ground yourself and recenter your energy. I guess we're going to be doing something with Persephone. All right. Oh, my God. O-M-J. It is a freaking little baby spoon. Look, the, I don't know if you can see it, the handle is like a leaf. Look at the little baby spoon, oh my god. Okay, so I, if you if you guys do watch me on, um, what? oh, it must have been my, um, I'm having a brain fart, my, uh, my Therabox. I got the Habit Nest, okay, I feel like I gotta move this again. I got the Habit Nest, um, sidekick journal that was about creating like a bedtime routine. Um, and I had been kind of eyeing these books for like ever. And so once I got that one, I was so excited. I'm sorry, I'm just sweaty. I'm so, I was so excited and I dove into it and I've been creating a nighttime routine. And, um, one of the things that I've been doing in my bedtime routine is drinking like some sleepy time tea. And um, when I put my sugar in the tea, I, I stir clockwise. Um, the other word for that is diosol, which is um, sunwise is what that means. And so if you want something to come to you, you uh, stir clockwise. If you want something to, um, to, to de decrease something or get rid of something, you go um, counterclockwise, which is also called Wittershins. Okay. So anyways, when I'm doing my tea, I will say sweet sleep come to me as I will it. So mode it be. So that's my new thing with my bedtime routine. And I bought a bunch of those sidekick journals. I'll talk about that at some point. I'll probably do a video talking about all my journals. Once I've kind of dived in and got my routines going, it may not be for a little while until I get my own apartment because I feel like I can't do all the routines I want to do. So anyways, all right. Um, leaf spoon, perfect for stirring tea or scooping herbs from jars. Incorporate this delicate spoon into your home apothecary or kitchen altar as you see fit. How cute. Okay. Okay, there's something more than this based off. Oh. Okay, hold on. Well, I'll show you this and then I'll read about the other thing. Oh, it's an apron! Okay. How do you... Oh, it's... Okay, so it's a half apron. Can you guys see it? Hopefully you can, because I can't see what the camera's doing. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, it's got pockets and shit. You put it around your waist. Let me stand up. I have shorts on because I'm so hot. Yay, how cute is this? I'll make my son, my, <laughs> I'll make my son wear it when he cooks for me. Um, and as I'm standing up, so you guys know that I have my store. So this is one of the t-shirts that I designed. It says, peace, love, magic with a CK. And then I designed this <laughs> crazy, splashy 
a messy background because I just love those. All right, and of course, guys, we've got more crinkle paper. We always get crinkle paper in these boxes. You can do all kinds of things with the crinkle paper. One of my viewers had said the crinkle paper is their favorite part. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's read about the half apron. Many things make us feel magical. From the tools we use to the books we read, even the people in our inner circle can affect our energy. Ceremonial cloths are another element that can influence how we perceive ourselves during ritual and spell work. Like a superhero applying a mask or a magician donning a cape, when we wear this apron, we invoke our inner alchemist, plant ma magus, mag magus, magus, and kitchen witch. Awesome. And then I'm assuming there's a thing that says Persephone amulet, so I'm assuming maybe this is the Persephone amulet. It says, Persephone is the springtime maiden, the queen of the underworld, and the keeper, also the initiator of mysteries. God, smoke. When she stands alongside her mother, Demeter, they represent the ebb and flow of seasonal vegetation, as well as the light and dark phases of the moon. As a dark goddess... <laughs> I don't know how to make this, like, flow somewhere else. Maybe I should put it up here. Okay, put Buddha over there. All right, I am wearing pants. They're just, I have shorts on. <laughs> okay. As a dark goddess, Persephone appeals to the living through her connection to the dead. She serves the shadow worlds by guiding lost spirits and meditating between realms. For this ritual, we will use this amulet to invoke Persephone. With the dark goddess by our side, we will extend an invitation to an ancestor or spirit with whom we wish to speak. May her torch lead them back to the realm of the living and shine a light on the messages we receive. After this ritual, you may add this amulet to a bracelet or chain. To do this, find a pair of pliers to open the jump ring, blah, 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 blah. It just tells you how to do that. The Persephone amulet is the fifth charm in our 2020 amulet series. What? There will be a total of six charms that subscribers can collect in preparation for an end-of-the-year intention-setting ceremony. You do not need to acquire the entire collection, but as new amulets become available, you can find them on our website, tamedwild.com. Fun! So is, did they say this is the, oh, it's the fifth charm. Dang it! I need to get all the other charms. Meh. Okay. That is it. And then it just talks about, um... Persephone's torch. I guess maybe this is our... Yeah, this is just our ritual. So I feel like my my typical thing is if it, you need to subscribe to the actual box to get these rituals because something has to be mysterious, right? Okay, I think that is it, guys. What do you think of this box? Like I said, it's it's around $20 a month. I think it's cheaper than that. Maybe like $17.99. I don't know. I bought six months in advance, so it must not have been super expensive. Um, I think it's worth it. I think I like the apron the most. I'm excited about the apron, but the spoon's so cute. I don't know. It's great. Okay, that is it. That is all. I'm going to run because we got more boxes to do. So stay tuned. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, I'd love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I am planning on doing a giveaway once I reach 500 subscribers. I'm getting close. I'm like at four, four something right now. So tell your friends. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind, leave me, me a comment below what you think of this box and a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. You guys have no idea. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks guys. Appreciate y'all so much. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.